Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Easy does it do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, this is M Easy, your orator, smooth narrator, something like a uh, Luke Skywalker, fly talk, and all that. Um, I got. Kevin St. Pierre in the building. Yes. He's, I, I was introduced to you from Lips. Lips. The, the web series, but apparently you've done a lot more. I've done some more. Okay. I mean, I so, a lot. I, was, I, did, I did enough. Listen, don't be, don't be yeah, bashful yeah, about yeah, it yeah, now, man. Nah, Brag nah, about nah, it. Nah, Talk nah, about nah, it. Reflex. There you go, flex. flex. Um, so what you been on before that? Like, what you've done? Uh, Convicted is a feature film, man. Um, that, that film is dope. It's getting, it's getting a lot of recognition right now. Um, directed by Casey Strong. I was a producer for that one, too. Um, I did a play called Roommates, off Broadway play. That was my first play, actually. See, so you're a man of many, many hats, as they say. Many hats. Many so hats. producer, actor, producer, comedian, actor, comedy. Yep, yep. Oh. And I write. Mm. And I write. I'm okay. nice with the pen. I, well, I'm good with the pen. Now, now, now. I'm gonna look into the camera. Now, when he says write, I write. Wrote what? Poems? Nah, short films. Oh, comedy. No raps. No rap. Oh, oh. no, no, no. I don't rap. No, 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 no. Listen, Haitian moms wouldn't know a lot of English. <laughs> Who to deal with that bullshit? Anyways, um, go ahead, finish what you're saying. Um, roommates, uh, Ty, uh, it's the first play I've ever done, man. Somebody gave me a chance from out of nothing, not doing acting classes, nothing. And I did an off-Broadway play, and I kind of launched it from there. My brother forced me in acting he over there. <laughs> and from there, it just, I don't know, man, it felt good. It felt, <laughs> felt like I belong in <laughs> Um, What do you like doing more, um, film or, or play? Um... Can I can I answer to something you didn't even say? Probably comedy, stand up. Comedy's your your most and then favorite. Film, yeah. F comedy and f yeah, film is close second. Why comedy? It's freeing, man. The experience is being on stage. It's like just one on one with the audience. Okay, all right, all right. See, I, I've 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 Go I've ahead. done a lot of these. I've been at a lot of these different places. I, I've hosted comedy shows. I've actually I actually dated a girl that was in uh, theater, and so I've seen the whole thing. So I, I can I can uh, appreciate. A thespian, a real thespian, someone that's because on theater there's no take two and nope. splicing and editing. Nope. There's none of that. It's none of it. on the move, and you got to be precise with it. So I, I respect thespians a little more, not a little more, but I I I, I enjoy that more than yeah, yeah. film. You understand what it's like, yes, being absolutely. up there. Mm -hmm. But film, film is film is dope because I mean, this takes. It's kind of the same thing when you in on stage. It's that same free experience that you have when you're behind the camera. It's nerve. The camera have like you can cut all that mm -hmm. stuff. Like even now, you know, it hits. Oh, now this is gonna be edited. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Make me look good, son. What you talking about? I had filters and all that, baby. But being on stage, man, I don't know. There's something about it, man. It's just like. Oh, um, I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I, I can't lie. It's it's an addicting feeling. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, never yeah. forget the first time I was on. Uh, I was doing a uh, an Usher album release on a boat yacht, and it was a whole bunch of rich white people and all this stuff. I was dressed real nice, and the stage was dope. And it was like, yeah, I could do this. I like this. Yeah, like yeah that's this. how. That's exactly how I felt the first time I did it. Mm. I was just like, so what? So yeah, after you had that feeling, what was what was the next step for you? Um, I did an acting class. I got dragged into uh, uh, literally dragged into uh, uh, improv class. Mm -hmm. As soon as I walked in, they were like, I do a scene. It was horrible. It was terrible. <laughs> I remember the scene, too, man. I had to be a, a cop in a woman's prison. Somebody got shanked on my watch. It was crazy. And then, <laughs> <laughs> Orange is the new black. It was, it was crazy. In the scene. But then um, I, did Im I did improv class. I did acting classes first. Mm -hmm. And then I did improv classes. And then in the improv class, everybody was like, yo, do stand-up comedy. And I'm like, yo, I want to act, man. I don't really. And they were mm -hmm. like, yo. Trust me, just do it. There's something about you got that that creativity where you could just blah 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 yeah. blah. So they were like, like do it, and I did it, and it was just like, yeah, this okay, is, this is it. So give me some actor, no, give me some comedians you looked up to. Um, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a later in comedy, so it's obviously Kevin Hart, uh -huh. Marlon Wayans. I have that uh, that Marlon Wayans bop, that that that, okay. that, that fun. Um, but then should I we ask him? Should we ask him to to, to tell a joke? Come on, we hate soldier? you, Haitian. Come so on, let me hear a joke. I'm Haitian, bro. Okay. You know how Haitians are. So let me we hear a joke. To, we used to get teased being Haitian. Oh bro. yes, HBO and all that. I got you. I My understand. last name's Saint Pierre. I can't avoid being Haitian. I used to have to pretend I was Jamaican just to avoid being teased. When people be like, "Yo, you Haitian? What's your last name? You Haitian?" Sac so so, you Haitian? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> not bomba clad Haitian. I don't talk about Haitian thing. Me look Haitian to you. That's that's the deepness in the Jamaican act. We look Haitian to you. We now bum bug lot Haitian. Yes, it happens so all the time. They talk about Haitian thing like this. Yes. Yeah. 
But that that I can give you more though. Give me uh, give me give me give me a, a joke. Give me stand up. Can like, I stand? Yeah, can yeah, we go? Yeah. Right, let's go. Um, the mic is on. You gotta lean. You good? It's good. All right. Uh, anybody in here watch porno on their phone? We gonna keep it real. Yeah, I watch porno. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. We, we, I we absolutely do watch porno on my phone. You watch phone. porno on their phone? This is how you can tell that somebody you watch porno on their phone. Say you don't get nervous when somebody asks you to pull out your phone and say Google something because you don't know what the last thing you Googled was. <laughs> There's nothing more nerve-wracking than four people over your shoulder. Like, yo, Google this right here. And you're like, please, Lord. <laughs> see, no. Don't let see, this be porno when it pops up. I always preface it like, listen, whatever you find please, on my phone, is, I be drinking and I get drunk sometimes and whatever happens, happens. So if it's porn... Yep, definitely pull. Don't let the, see, X videos. The same one I watch too. X videos. Four people over your shoulder. Yo, I'm sorry, ma. Google the address of the Power 105 building. It just happened. I pulled it out. They saw midget point. Make sure y'all y'all bleep that out. Uh, like we, we go to the ass on the cheeks. Show. But um, yes. So I, I midget porno mean. was one time. It was one time. Um, give me some hobbies you do that are outside the acting and entertainment realm. Um, I play ball. I don't play ball no more. I play ball. I'm on my, my, I'm trying to work out now. I'm trying to flex. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get sex. Now, when you say you play ball, is this in? College ball. High, oh, college. college oh, ball. what college were you? Westbury. D3. Westbury. Okay, all right, all right. You can ball a little bit. I respect that. I respect that. D3. Well, ask what? What's he saying? You went to oh, Westbury? I went to Westbury. That's my school. I mean, my age, <clears throat> I don't want to say my age, but I'm way I graduated than... in 2016. Yeah, see? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm way before that. Camera lady, keep your ass off the cameras, man. You're talking over here. <laughs> I'm full, I'm full. Talking over here. I'm, now, I'm way, I'm way. I'm now, way. I seen the episode of You and Lips. Yeah, yeah. Where you were actually, you, you raped the, 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 the young lady's daughter. Yeah, you, you, say, were it, you say it so brutally. I mean, how could you say rape nicely? <laughs> There's no way of know, nicely man. saying rape. I know, I know, I know. I know. Now, when you, when you took the role, did you know that was part of the role? All right, man. I'm going to tell the whole story. Can I? Can I? Yeah, I mean, you better because right now, sir, they're playing the clip of you raping a girl right now as we talk. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, go ahead. Damn. All right, so. How make this look better I, to I me? I got me nervous. So, talk about this. <laughs> um, all right, so, the, you met, you met uh, Alicia and yes, Michelle. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. They came to me with an idea about the Lips web series. And I told you I write. Mm -hmm. So for season one, we sat down at a coffee shop. She was like, yeah, we need a writer for this. So I was like, all right, cool. What's the idea? Mm -hmm. Michelle started telling me about it. And at first, she was nervous. Like, she didn't really want to disclose everything. And, I, and that's when I get a little serious. Like, I joke, but I get serious. Like, yo, if you want me to write this, we got to really sit, open up, get to know each other. Like, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Deep, mm -hmm. deep stuff. So she opened up about it. And I wrote, I wrote season one, the screenplay for them. Oh. And then they came to me after and was like, yo, we love it. We need you to play Damien. And I'm like, why? why? And she said, because she, because you know, it's a true story. Mm -hmm. It's a true story. I mean, okay. All right. It, so I think it's out. It's time out, out there. time out, time yeah, out, time yeah, out. Yeah. Okay. I watched it. Uh -huh. And I was here with my assistants, my ladies here. And the one scene that I couldn't get right, whether it's true, I mean, loosely true, whatever you want to call it. When they're sitting in the bed and she first tells her friend that she got raped, and the friend's first reaction was, oh, you didn't have to go that. I know you don't like him, but you don't got to go that far. I'm like, there's absolutely, positively no way that's your friend's first reaction I, after she tells you she gets raped. I don't know if it's the friend's first reaction, but people ain't believing that. It's crazy. People ain't believe it at first, and she really had to tell people like, "Why am I have to say this twice?" And then she just she wanted me to do the role because she felt like it was personal to her, and I would take it seriously. Like I really would. Like mm -hmm. I understand. Like what that's. I got a master's in psychology. So, so, so I see, see where he's saying. I understand. Right. I was about to tell him. You got no, oh, no, no, no. I got a math, a psychology. I okay. study psych. Okay. Okay. So I, so now I'm saying it, it, it's it's and we talked. We talked about it. She opened up about it. So I just really was like, I, I'll take it serious or whatever. And then once I did the character, I got I got some little hate texts. I got smacked in the in the screening. Like when we showed the video, somebody straight punched me. A girl punched me. Like for real, for real. Now, how did you feel going through the, with the scene? Like, what was what was going through your mind? Did you put yourself in a pedophile state, or were you yeah. like, the whole time like, this is fucking foul? Nah, I did it. I had to though. I had to. You gotta put yourself there. I had to. I had to like really understand what it's like to be. I don't want to say crazy, but... A rapist, nigga, yes. Rapist. That's exactly yeah, what the I fuck mean, it was. Yes. You saying it? Yes. Listen. Um, I had, you got to understand. It's like, I would take a role like um, Heath Ledger in Batman. Oh, no, it challenges you. I'm saying you, you got to go there. Absolutely. You if you're, if you're a true actor, you've got to be able to play people that aren't you. You have to. And 
great actors, like you see Morgan Freeman, kind of doesn't really stray too far from who he really is. Denzel, like, they usually play the same type of roles. Like, yeah. that role right there absolutely tests who you are as an actor. Yeah. It's the sit down, it's your main man, I'm easy. I got Kevin St. Pierre in the building. My Haitian oh. brethren is here now. Um, what, what, what was, what did you learn in your experience with doing lips? Um, it, it, that character it made me take it more seriously, and it, it, it gave me confidence knowing that I could do it. Like I could really take it there. Mm. I think I could take it mentally as far as I want in any character. Understanding a character. I really get what it's like to really like put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Empathize, I guess. Mm, yeah, empathize. empathize. So I get what it's really like to empathize with somebody else. So if I've got to play like a game banger, I really think I could, I mean, ain't nothing thug about me, but <laughs> I, I, I think I understand what it's like to try to live in somebody else's shoes more. Not judging them for what they did, but trying to understand what they did. Yeah. Which sucks because it's a rapist, but I have more of an understanding like, yo, he was sick too. And you just a f***ed up person, and I can't see you. I, it's touchy, man. You even like you better watch your mouth. Yeah, fam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I don't know where you going. You better with this not episode. understand the rapist <laughs> yeah. right now, yeah. bro. You, you, but listen, there's an understanding, and there is a a, a, uh, a and, fault, and 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 an understanding. And I understand where you're coming from. It's like I had to play this role, so I had to get into a sick part of my mind. Yeah. It's not a place in my mind where I live, hopefully. At all. You know, at all. But there is a place where you can go. Okay? Yeah, I understand yeah, that. Kevin St. Pierre's in the building. It's a sit down. It's your guy, M. Easy. Um, so now, back, let's go back. Where, where, do we see, where do you see yourself in the big scheme of entertainment? Man, I feel like... I right, so... Oh, I could do it this way. The person I idol most is Jamie Foxx. Okay. You do stand up, but then yeah. you could come back and you could act. You could do a funny movie, but then you could come back and be taken very seriously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then you could do a stand-up special whenever you want to. Yes, so Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx is probably the, the person that, if I could be like Jamie Foxx, I would be. Do you do impersonations? No, no, damn. Damn, I was thinking, I was I know, I thinking with a Jamie Foxx, huh? I um, little, yes, we can. <laughs> Something like that. So, what, all right, give me, where would be Nirvana for Kevin St. Pierre? Like, when you've reached the highest point of your, your, your essence of acting, the one role that you think would, would put you over the top. What is Nirvana for you? Um, it would be a role. Uh, it would have to be like a role. Like I'll compare it to a, like a movie we've already seen. Okay, absolutely. Um, it would be like a Heath Ledger, like a Joker. That would be. I would. I would love to do something where you're gonna see that I'm funny, but you're gonna see that I could do Heath Ledger or Rage or Ray. Mm. Like you, you. I want to show like, yo, I'm not gonna be limited to one thing. I can do it all, and I want to, and I hope I get an opportunity to. Mm. But in right now, I don't know. I have a dream and I have a real reality. It's kind of like two brains that kind of split in my why, head. Well, why? Close. Why can't your dream become a reality? And I hope. I hope it cut. I hope it would. You shouldn't have two different. It should. Uh, it should all be one lane. You know why I said it? Because right now I feel like I'm gonna hit a big stage soon in comedy. I really feel like I'm gonna have like a, a Comedy Central soon. I, I just, I feel, I just hope I, I could have. Uh, it, now, now I'm about to go back and 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 search your Instagram. Are you a funny guy on on the gram too? Man, you had, I see you had a dude up here. I got funny videos, bro. Okay. I will watch them. I All think, right. you, I I think you might laugh. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little more homework. I thought you were just an actor, so I was looking on the IMDBM stuff and the, IMDb, the, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. stuff. So I kind of seen that stuff of you, but I didn't know you were a comedian and did the funny stuff like that. So I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go back and see what we could, yeah. what we could do in this funny stuff you got. I got, I got a comedic. I wrote, I wrote a comedic um, short. I wrote a comedic short film. I, do, I, I don't know, man. I just feel like entertainment is just dope. Where, did, where, did, where did you find this creativeness? Or how um, old were you when you found your creative juice? Yo, it's fine. Right, so it's funny because we, this is my brothers right here too, man. Um, we grew up recording ourselves all the time. I was on the camera or the, anyone who knows me will vouch. And I didn't know it was creative. I'm just stupid. My grandmother used to call me Michael Jackson growing up. <laughs> she used to call me Marlon Wayne. You remind me of Marlon Wayne's. And I'm like, whatever. I played ball. Playing ball, I never realized I was entertaining because when I lost that in college, when I went to Westbury, it wasn't fun no more. There was no audience. We was losing. Mm -hmm. It was like, this is boring. I needed a crowd. I needed the audience. Mm -hmm. And then my brother dragged me into an acting class to watch his class. And then I sat there. It's going to sound corny, but I was like, yo, God just spoke to me. and was like, yeah, 
This is it. Now That's not corny if it's did. true. It's true. Now you did. And I was just like, yo, this is entertaining. It's cool, man. I, I get it. I get how to how to just let yourself go and be be different, be a different character. I'm going to walk into one of these acting classes, man. Let's see what this look like. Because yeah. I have a couple people, and I've been itching. Plus, I got the Asunder web series that's about to start that I'm that I'm in. So I want to dibble and dabble into this acting thing for real, for real. So I think I'm going to take, take a real class. You're going to take a class? Where? Where are you thinking? Um, remember the kid that played uh, Lil C's? Yeah, oh, he, Mark, got the, he got the private joint. Mark, uh, I forget his name. What studio is that? Jar, 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 Mark Jarvis? Jarvis? Something like that. Yeah. So I'm going to go see him. He was here a couple years ago and always told me if I ever want to do an acting class, come see him. So. He's at, yeah, he's at the studio. I know the address to it. I know it's like, what studio is it? 521, I know that. 520 off of 6 or something like that. Yeah, but I'm going yeah, to go private. check him, man. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to plug before we get about here? <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. Who is Kevin Lee on Instagram? Straight through. Who is Kevin Lee? I got Kevin Lee. Name. What's that from? Who's my middle Lee? name is Lee. I'm Haitian, and my middle name is Lee. I know. I know. Kid I know. Lee. Where did get Lee from? I don't know, man. I asked my mom. So she, she, he's Chinois. He's he Chinois. She, 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 <laughs> who is Kevin Lee on YouTube? Yeah. That's where he gets the light skin from. Is it Chinese stuff? We like the same complexion. We ain't light. We like brown skin, bro. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Shoot. And that's it. It's the sit down. She got M Easy. Seven. Uh, Kevin St. Pierre's in the building. Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Gotta do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing.